Mambo vipi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thank you for clicking on this channel. And today I'm going to show you how to transform your batangomas from looking basic to looking dope like this one. Yeah, so stay tuned and watch how I transformed these ngomas. So first you're going to need your plain batangomas and then you're going to need some masking tape and then uh, you're going to need your acrylic paint. I used mine in white, some water, a pair of scissors, some paint brushes and a palette. So first I'm going to cover the sole of my batangomas using the masking tape to avoid any transfer of unwanted paint. I do not want paint on this area so I'm just going to cover it up first. And then in the next step I'm going to use a piece of chalk to outline my design. You can look for your designs online. I looked for mine online and then I modified it a little bit. You want to do this so this can be your guide to your design but you don't have to go so much into details because uh, especially if you're doing small things you're only you're mostly going to need your brush. And then here I just put my paint on the palette and then I go in with my brush and outline the design that I want to on the on the rubber shoes. By the way, do not use water because I realized that water tends to make this paint so thin uh, and then it becomes runny on the rubber shoes. So just use your paint as is. And also another tip, if you cannot get acrylic paint, you can use nail polish or cutex yes you had me right you can use nail polish so here i'm still going in with my brush and drawing in my design you can draw anything that you want feel free it will it will still look good yeah so i'm just going to let you watch the rest of the video as this unfolds Okay, and another thing, do not worry about acrylic, uh, about you washing it. You want to be using a soft cloth like a gunia or a very, very soft brush to wash your shoes to avoid uh, you chipping off the the acrylics. But they, they rarely come off if you take really good care of them. Even when, if, even when you're going to use nail polish, it won't come off easily. So just take good care of your shoes and they will last you a really, really long time. And also, if you can't do this by yourself, there is a guy on Insta Instagram called uh, Rosen Ian. He paints rubber shoes and uh, he can really make you good, good rubber shoes. I got my first pair from him and then because I paint and I have acrylic paint at home, I decided to do this myself and see how it comes out. So yeah, it's it's that simple, guys. So continue enjoy enjoy the rest of the video. So for the second design, this one I just I bought I just eyeballed this. Uh it just came out of my head. And I decided to do this so that I can fill up the canvas so that it can look more interesting. I love patterns, you guys. I really, really love patterns. I love Aztec patterns. I love colorful patterns. I just love things that look a little bit busy. Yeah, so you, you can also create your own designs. You don't have to Google. 
yeah so you can see how convenient this masking tape is you can see that some of the paint is already on it and uh, i recommend you using tape because you know when this paint goes to the sole it won't come off easily that is why we are doing that also you guys let me let me know down in the comment section below what kind of videos do you prefer do you like it when i do diy videos or do you like it when i do hair videos or would you like to see me do a vlog comment down below guys So here I'm just finishing the rest of the shoe, finishing up with the rest of the pattern. I have zigzags at the top, I have circles with dots at the middle, and then I have dashes or hyphen, hyphens at the bottom. And then I'm just going to dot the circles and, the, and also dot the zigzags. And then I'm going to do the back of the shoe. And you, it's not a must for you to fill the rest of the shoe, you can do only the front part and leave the back part of the shoe. Final step, I'm going to go in with my black paint and clean up any edges that I feel like are not so neat. I'm going to re to clean up those edges with black paint so that you can get a more defined pattern. And this is optional. If you feel your pattern is okay, you can leave it at that. If you feel that uh, it is not so neat, you can go in with the color that you want and... Uh, clean it up and also another tip when you're doing the pattern like i did the white my paint was in matte i didn't realize it was not the normal acrylic it was in matte it was not shiny it was not glossy so i did two coats of the white paint and then i went back in with the black to clean it up and to define my patterns more so that they can uh, so that they can be visible so you guys can transform your old rubber shoes or you can just buy batangomas and do this. They're only 300 shillings. Yeah, or repurpose your old shoes and give them a transformation. So guys, this is the final look. They are done and they are dry. And by the way, before you clean up with the black paint, you want to clean off the chalk first. So I'm going to be using this bling wrap and bling my shoes. I just decided to be extra because your girl loves some bling. Yeah, I like shiny things. <laughs> I'm just going to cut my bling to size according to where I want it to be. And guys, this step is optional. And then I'm going to go in with my glue gun and glue down the bling wrap to the shoe yeah so it's it's that easy let me know in the comment section below do you like this shoe and uh, will you do this project and uh, yeah do you like the bling or should i have used a silver bling i did not have a silver bling but anyway i wanted to try with the gold bling and see how this would turn out And then you're going to trim off any excess using your pair of scissors if you have any excess to avoid lifting in future. This is the final look you guys. I really love how the shoes turned out. So comment down below. And I hope you guys are staying safe. And above all, love and light. Bye bye. See you next time.